The AutoWay batching system is intended to automate the operation of preparing thermite portion comprising of seven components. There are mainly two types of components. One, major raw materials, and two, minor raw materials. The major raw materials are stored in large storage hoppers. The components are A, M my scale, B, OL powder, C, steel chips. Minor raw materials are stored in smaller hoppers. Other components are A, ferromanganese, B, silicon carbide, C, calcium fluoride, D, ferromolybdenum. Below all three major storage hoppers, there will be a way hoppers mounted on load cells. The major storage hoppers are fine on coarse discharge valves below them. These valves dispense the required quantity of material in the weighing hoppers. Below each minor material hopper there are high accuracy weighing and dispensing belt conveyors. These belts dispense the material in the weighing hoppers. All four belt conveyors start to dispense the required quantity of material in their respective weighing hoppers. Below all seven weigh hoppers, there is a belt conveyor. Several collection containers are mounted on the conveyor at equal distance. As you press start button, all seven storage hoppers dispense their material in respective weigh hopper. When the first weigh hopper is ready with required quantity of material, its discharge valve opens and discharges the material in collection container below it. The moment any of the weigh hoppers gets empty, it gets filled again for the next discharge. Now the belt moves one step and this filled container moves and stops below second way hopper. It gets filled with material too and moves to third way hopper. This way it travels up to seventh way hopper collecting material from each hopper and then drops the material in a final collection hopper which in turn drops this material in a mixer. At this time all the preceding containers get ready with one to seven materials and follow the same routine. The mixer runs for about 10 seconds and discharges the material in bagging scale for bagging and packing operation. Once the bag is filled, it falls on a belt conveyor mounted below it and moves towards sealing and stitching station. By this time the operator clamps another bag to the bagging hopper and the process continues in same fashion.